All right, here are the recommended tools you should have for this job. Um, you definitely need some way to tell if the power is on or off. So this is a voltage sensor. When it's turned on, it will. You put it in the receptacle, and it will beep if the power is still on. Good for quick check. And of course, your trusty multimeter. If you don't have one, you might have a friend that might have one, or but the voltage sensor will work. A flathead screwdriver. A Robertson screwdriver, green Robertson screwdriver that is, or Phillips, Phillips head. They both will work. A pair of wire strippers wouldn't hurt. An optional, maybe a pair of pliers. They call those linesman pliers. Definitely optional, some electrical tape. And you never know if you might need some wire connectors. And I also recommend safety glasses. There you go. Let's get to it. So always remember, once again, the first step is to make sure the power is off. So in this case, simply turning off the switch will not do. Of course, the light is out, but there's still power going to the switch. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove the cover, flathead screwdriver, there it is, gone. And again, you can see, you can see that the light is definitely still on. I'm going to use our voltage sensor, or voltage tester, whatever you want to call it. Now it seems like we've lost our power, but only on one side of the switch. So if you take this out now and start working on it, um, You'll, you'll, you quite possibly could get a shock, so we're going to turn off the power. Okay, so here we are at our, our electrical panel, and all these are all your branch circuits throughout your house. This is your main breaker, and then your, your listings for all your breakers. So when I look, it's showing here that uh, our switch, which we were working on, is number four. Two, four. It's this device right here. If you're in an older home and your listing has been taken off or worn out, can't read anymore, and you're uncertain, you can either turn them all off if you wish, or turn off your main if you're unsure and you, you want to make sure it's most important to have the power off when you're working on the devices. If you can't find which breaker it is individually, turn off your main breaker. Same with the, the older homes have the fuse panels. You can take it all the fuses you want or there'll be a main switch somewhere. Just make sure the power's off for safety reasons. And we just turned off our switch. Now we're gonna go up and verify the power's off. Okay, so we've turned off the power. Let's just verify. Okay, so our, the light is not coming on. Could we may have a burned out bulb. Put our voltage tester in there. Power's off. Okay. Let's take our green Robertson. And that's the, if you're not familiar with the, the names of the screwdrivers, that's the square one. As the Phillips people like to call the star or the cross in the Phillips. Phillips will work in this case. Remove the screws. Once again, we can see that this was painted around here. You have to be careful. Unless you're going to repaint, that's cool. If not, I'll pry it up slowly. Sometimes take, take your knife and score that here and here just to loosen it up. And we'll hollow it out. Now in this case, there's no bare copper wire. It's, 
mounted inside the box does need to be on the device. And you can see, so we're going to, in this case here, you can remove the screws if you want, but in this case, just for demonstration, I'm going to cut the wires off. I'll cut one off and then I'll show you if you want it. Either way you want to do it. As long as you have lots of wire left in there. Take your Green Robertson or your Phillips. Unscrew. Remove the wire. Now usually, this is an old connection here. I'm just going to cut that off and make a new connection. Imagine this is a new install, brand new. The wires would be just snipped off like this. So I'm going to cut off that much wire, each one. Put the curls back in the wires. Okay. Now we'll get our new switch. There's our new switch, single pole switch. In this case here, there are two mounting screws. I'm sorry, two, not mounting screws for the wire. There's our mounting screws here. Don't mean to confuse anyone. Now, it doesn't matter in this case which wire goes where. If you want to put the white wire here or here and then swap them, it doesn't matter in that order. The only important thing that does matter is that when you're mounting the screw back in the wall the screws must be on the right side on your right if you put the screws the other way your switch is going to be an upside down and so in this position the light will be on and that'll be off so there we go okay green Rob once again the green robertson or your phillips my personal choice is the green robertson Again, I'm back up a bit here. I'm cur curving the wire in the shape that the screw tightens down, and that's the clockwise direction. If you know, Green Robertson once again, and I'm tightening these down so they're not going to slip. Be careful when you're torquing these screws. If you torque this too much here, you can potentially break the inside mechanism. So be careful. Okay, again, shape the wires so that the, you push your device in. Not too much resistance. Now I'm going to take my Green Robertson again and I'm going to remount our device back in the wall. Make sure the device is straight. New plate, flathead screw, or sorry, flathead screwdriver. There you go. This is a nylon plate, it won't crack. Go back to your panel, turn your power back on, and you're back in business. You can leave any questions or comments below. Thank you.